Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Overanalyzed, our awesome Overwatch coaching series. Today, we're going to take a look at a Doom Fist player. And of course, if you'd like to send video clips in for consideration to appear on this series, then do follow the instructions that are on the screen. Okay, so we're looking at a Doom Fist player here. Um, you'll notice as well, there's something interesting about this game. It is a master level game. Now, the last Overanalyzed that we had on the channel featured a support player wanting to get established into GM. They've been into GM before, but they wanted to get established into GM. This is kind of a little bit lower down the ladder. This is a player who wants to break into GM. Says that they're a good Doomfist player. It says that they understand the mechanics of the hero. So why can't they get into GM? This is the big question. Now, I guess we're just going to play this as we go over it. But often what happens at this level is players really struggle with consistency. This is playing to your strengths all of the time. You'll have a good game, then you'll have a mediocre game, then you'll have a good game, then you'll have a bad game, then you'll have a good game, then you'll have a mediocre game, then you'll have a bad game. That goes on all of the time at this level. And this is why players get stuck. You have to eliminate the small mistakes. And this, and, and let me just pause this just to reiterate this point. You have to eliminate small, small mistakes. So get rid of, like, you basically need to become, um, well, I mean, you just need to be consistent, right? That's what you need, consistent. You have to be consistent. Consistency is key. When you start feeling yourself dropping down in, in, in sort of level of play, that's when you need to stop. You know, take a break. Okay, let's take a look at this here. So this is demonstrating to me that this player understands how to use Doomfist in, in clever ways. So what we'd be looking to do here is seismic slam in, uppercut, kill somebody, punch out. That's, that's the combo. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Being cheeky. <laughs> And by all means, this is something you can do, guys, if you play Doomfist. Totally do it. Here we go. Seismic slam in. Punch, punch, kill. Punch out. You. That's beautiful. Like, you, you can't really ask for more than that, really. That is massive three? value. Massive value. Ryan's low. Ryan's low. So, one of the things I hope, as we get further into this video, is this isn't like you've sent me the best game you've ever had. I always say that's the worst thing to do. Because... You're not going to learn anything from that. We need to look at mediocre games. We need to look at games where mistakes are made that actually result in you losing matches. Anyway, that was great. But what's the problem here, right? We've gone through the fight. We've done all that good stuff. We need to set ourselves up again. But we need to look for engages. Now, Doomfist Engage is, like I said, it's quite simple. You've got E available. You've got Uppercut. So what you're looking to do is always use one of these abilities as an escape. You don't want to... Like a lot of poor Doomfist players will literally burn everything. So they'll they'll imagine like Doomfist is on high ground here so he'll jump down with his E get some damage in then he'll uppercut that's that's okay with his shift or whatever it is on console and then he will punch <laughs> but now he's stuck and he's dead that's how Doomfist dies Doomfist always needs to keep either his E or his punch available for an escape if he doesn't do that then he'll die so let's just see what you do it's pointless me talking about it you said you understand the hero so I'm looking for basically a seismic slam engage and a punch out Seismic slam engage. Punch out. Really exactly. Th that's how you play Doomfist. This is why Doomfist can be s considered really quite frustrating get one, get one, to play against. Alright, we've almost got our ultimate. So, we sort of need to play safe. We're investing transcendence. Okay, we've got the kill on this. So, I'm just basically going through what's happening here. So, this is messy. We've lost our Ana. They've got. Uh, we're going Blade. Okay, so that let's just jump. Let's just jump this back and let's just watch this through again. So the fight is getting really messy here. This is good working on Diva. It's totally fine. We demet the Diva, but we can hear blades going off. We can see people being killed, and then we commit the meteor strike. Like we don't need this, do we? You, I think you know this as well. Like, look at that. We've killed three of their team. Well, we've demet the diva. That's basically... Well, no, she's dead. You punched her in the head. She's dead. So, there's three people dead on their team. We've lost Anna, but our Genji's blading. We don't really need our ultimate here. I say that like their Genji blade is still doing work. Actually, we're still cleaning up here, so this should be okay. Just the tracer left. She might just hit me here. Hold on. One of the things, though, with... Um, Meteor strike. Yeah, she won. Mega. Good call. Good comms as well. Somebody's bibbing their horn. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's a horn. Um, yeah, meteor strike. 
Yeah, give, give him a tech, give him a tech. You can use it because it's kind right. of like, it, let's just talk about Meteor Strike, but I'm, I'm sure you understand this, but this will just be for other people. So when you're using Meteor Strike, um, you can use it for one of two things. You can use it as an escape or you can use it to kill people. Um, or you can use it, I guess, escape could also class as an engage as well. So escape, engage, or to just take out people, like to assassinate them. Um, so I don't really mind it when Doomfist uses ultimate. It's not like, oh God, you've just thrown away a game winning ultimate. It's like, whatever, you're going to get your ultimate back. Look, it's already on 35%. We haven't really done all that much. I mean, okay, we, we got a finishing blow on somebody with a bit more damage. You'll get it back fast. So it's not really that much of an issue. But my, my comments are more to do with keeping that consistency with Doomfist and getting maximum value in every single engage. Okay, and thinking about what I can do to just secure the win. Like, what is the win condition? So here, you're actually waiting for people to come in. You've isolated the Ana, which is really good. I got Easy Anna. kill on Ana. Actually looking really good for our team now. We've got two picks. Okay, they get a pick. We're looking for targets. We get the... This is great. Like, you're obviously a really good Doomfist player. So why are you in master? Consistency. I mean, look at that. I, I literally cannot ask for more than that. Like, if we lose this... I mean, look at that. That's brilliant. Like, we can't... We can't ask for more than what you've done there. So the oh, question is why... Oh, that's a good kill. Again, great mechanics. We go in, we've always got an escape. That's awesome. They're kind of all over the place now. So what we're thinking now is we've, we've got to get into our head. What's the plan? Like, what are we going to do next? We, okay, we've played well. We've smashed them up. We know they're, they're staggered now. So we can use this time to... Yeah, that's okay. See, we've got our ultimate. We can use that to get out. That's cool. I got more. Okay, that's also cool. It's unlucky we didn't manage to get out of that, but we did get saved by a bubble, which is okay. Oh. Hmm. It's like, what's happening now? It's like kind of breaking down now. And they're investing a lot of ultimates. This is kind of unlucky, this is. Like, I think the way to... I got... I, I, you literally cannot ask for more than that. You are... So, I think this is somebody sending in a clip where they're just playing out of their mind, and they're, they're saying, Sty, why... Am um, what the hell is that? Why am um, I don't know? What, I've got to stop writing on the screen. It's so stupid. Why am um, I am I not G M? That's the question that's being asked after sending this clip in. But oh, no, again. it's it, it, I mean, oh, you're obviously point, making point, mistakes. Point, point. You're obviously dying yeah, and losing yeah, matches. Yeah, Why is yeah, that I'm happening? Going. Are you being counterpicked now? Often you'll see players, hold, hold second, hold second. enemy players, will swap to a McCree. To try and kill Doomfist, that's not really ideal. Unless you're going to get the flashbang off, Doomfist will kill you. I think what they tried to do, what would be a better idea. I mean, look, look at this. You're showing me loads of tech here. You know how to play. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Hold second, hold second. Just watch this. He's showing me all the tech, all the Doomfist tech. This is, you've got most likely hundreds of hours on this hero. You know everything. Look at this. This jump is really hard to do because it, it involves a twist and everything. It's top level. I've picked their honor every fight. You, oh, did, you have, yeah. Thing. So, again, this positioning is awesome. We've got Dunk a pick, right so off. you're going to try and do some... Okay, that's unlucky. Right, we're looking for engages here. We're looking for what you're trying to do. So, you're already committing to this here. That Reinhardt's pushed in. Now... This isn't inherently bad, but your main strength here is just annihilating their supports, as you have been doing through the first defensive phase. The fact we lost that is not your fault. You you were carrying the team there. So we're trying to go for a cheeky punch again. And and, and like we've just totally screwed ourselves up because we've we don't have any escape there. You know what you've done. You're gonna die here. You're dead. Right, let's go back. Let's watch this. This is why you're losing games. Look at this. What is the thought process here? So you see the you see the Reinhardt move in. Okay, that's fine. And you think, okay, I'm going to now be cheeky and hit somebody randomly. Remember, this is random. There's no, there's no like, we, we don't actually know if the enemy team are pushing through. It's highly likely, right? Because we know that Reinhardt is here. So you'd expect them to be coming this way. So your gamble here is I'm going to jump off, try and punch them. Um, if that doesn't work, then we need to disengage, right? But you've invested all of your abilities. So you cannot disengage. Look, so we're going with a punch. Oh, I got you, buddy, got you. The problem with this now is they could snowball us, and it looks like they are. Nice, nice. Now, again, she's gone Good huge, job, and as then, okay, gone huge. You know that because you're like, nice, nice, nice. Hoppers in, hoppers in. That totally shows off the issue with Doomfist because it, it, it's such high reward, but also there's, there is a very high element of risk. If you overextend, you die. So the like now, 
ask yourself right. this question. There's always downtime in Overwatch, right? Always ask yourself a question. When nothing's happening, say to yourself, what should I do? So we need to reset. I like your position. I like it when you sit up here. So, I mean, by all means, go back there because it gives you access to everything. So go back to that. Do whatever you want to do. Get a good position. Get the high ground. It looks like you're about to show us. You're going to jump off that. So, it, like, you don't need to show me anymore how good you are with this hero's abilities. You, you are, like, you are honestly top tier with this hero. There is no reason why you shouldn't be in GM. Why are you not in GM? Is it because we don't understand how to engage? Probably like you just showed me. And that can happen at bad times and then you die. Or the enemy team just counter pick you, which is happening now, which is why I've paused it, is look at this. We've got a McCree. Now, like I said, McCree isn't really the counter to Doomfist. It isn't like whip out a McCree and you win. McCree's still got to hit you with a flashbang. He's still got to do all that. If he doesn't have his flashbang, he's not going to shut you down. And if you go into a group of players and he hits you with a flashbang, if you've landed one of your abilities, you're going to have shields, right? So he's not really going to be able to just pop you in the head and kill you. You're going to be able to disengage. So it isn't what everybody thinks, just an easy, ah, ha, ha, just pick McCree and you kill Doomfist. That doesn't work. But if he does start dominating you now, then that's the problem. Top left. Right? We're not changing. We're not adapting our hero selections. Top left, top left. Okay, good call top left. We move across. Good position. We can get some punches off. One thing we need to worry about, though, is enemy ultimates oh, now. Heals, heals. They've probably got a grab, right? I've not seen grab. So I'd be worrying for that. McCree's killed our Zen, which is, this is really super bad. But, okay, you're going to go in here. So let's just, I'm going to say, you've got your ultimate. You can just dive deep. We kill the McCree. We should be able to kill Anna as well. Yeah. Yeah, Anna again. Let it, don't let him get ticked. Trace for one. Better. Okay, cool. Ooh, unlucky, nice. Right I mean, right when you've got your ultimate, you can be really aggressive because you can just use it as an escape. You don't always have to use it as a a, a tool to kill people because Doomfist can just one-shot people anyway. So you just go in on a suicide YOLO mission, kill one of their supports, then just all out. Totally fine. Okay, like, what are we doing here? Get into a position. Good, good. <laughs> I say that and you just show some wonderful tech. Awesome. So, the, again, great position. Look, I mean, this position is so good because you can see here. You can see here. If anybody comes behind, you're going to get wind of it. Anybody moves here, you, you, you could just see everything. Every point of entry. Now, one of the things with this, as I've noticed with the enemy team pushing in, they're pushing in, but not all together. Like, when they just attacked up this way, they came up here, but not everybody was there. The Anna was still loitering around there. This means we've got a window of opportunity here. If they do that again, we can go straight in and try and take out their back line. If you kill a support on Hannah Moore, a final point, they're screwed. They're not going to win that fight unless they've got some sort of insane combo oh, they can whip out. But we need to be really careful of, of grab. They're, they're going to have grab. No. Points being contested. Points being contested. I'm just going to this I do not like. This is this is bad, right? So everything you're showing me here with your awesome engages, this is the stupidest thing you could do with Doomfist. Why are you engaging here when you could engage from this way and smash him into a wall and then just disengage? Here, you're never going to do anything. You're just going to knock him forward. And it's a Reinhardt. What's he done to you? He's charged as he's punched, and then you're both down on the ground. So this is like throwing the game. Because if you die here... Frick. See that that's this is the problem. So we have we have seen two mistakes so far of you that have been quite bad that could have resulted in us just losing the, the game. You don't want to do that, right? If you can cut that out, you'll get to GM. Alright, so hopefully we hold here, but this is this is risky. Where is their grav as well? I mean they've got shatter and grav. There's coalescence. Right, so what's our plan here? What are we, like, what's your thought process here? I think before I break this down, let's just see what you do. So you take the high ground, which is what I would have expected. Um, where's Tommy? Where's Tommy? Genji's popping off. Genji's got kills. We're helping Genji. Right, hello. It's fine. So this is another a one fight. Stand. Yeah. Anna, up top. Anna's half up top. Good call. Good call. Tell me you don't die here. <laughs> She's loving. I got her. I got her. I got her. Okay, awesome. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Um, All right, so we've almost Anna? got our ultimate available again. So we can be cheeky. Again. Are you going to try and get high ground again with your tech? Because remember, what could happen here, right? We can dive in. We can totally YOLO in because we're going to get this if we punch one person. You will get 10% off slapping somebody, right? So if you're feeling absolutely like a legend, you go in. You smash somebody with a punch or, or, or like E or whatever you want to do and then you just Q and you get the hell out. This might kill somebody. I think that's fine. Like, honestly, I think that's fine. There's a minute to go. You might get your ultimate. Well, you, you should get your ultimate again before their final push. 
Let's have a look. So don't stop doing that. Oh, that is so bad. Uh, that is yeah, such yeah, yeah. a bad. Okay, so we're gonna combo the grab. Uh, That's I need fine. Heels, I need heels. They're going top left, top left again. Just armor me or something. Go break, go break, go break, grab it. Now. Uh, this could be redundant, what I'm about to say, but a point on grab is don't just instantly use uh, Meteor Strike into it. Use your abilities first because that grab is going, like we can see the grab right in the middle of the screen. This grab is going there. This this is always pretty much what you want to do is Doom Fist. If you're within range of the grab, try and just hit the grab with a fist first because you might kill somebody straight away and then you uppercut somebody or you do more damage to someone. You might not actually have to use the ultimate. Often, Doomfist can just instantly press Q as soon as Zarya presses Q, and we don't know what Zarya's actually got. Don't do that. It looks like you're going in for a punch anyway. Yeah, so hopefully you don't use the ultimate here, because this, this is fine. Oh, but we can use it now to escape, right? So press Q here. Now, I think you've killed McCree here, but this is being greedy, because there's a Moira there as well, and we've got 10 HP. Oh, I'm about to get sucked. We're lucky. We're really lucky there. See, that was greedy. We didn't really need to do that. We should have played it a bit safer and just dropped back on our team. It's all good. Because you don't want to give them kills, right? Okay, so Briggs... Like, just a note on that. Um, that was considered to be the best way to use Brigitte's ultimate. Just pop it out of a fight to get armor. Not so much now. Like, you kind of... Because remember, it doesn't give you as much armor as it used to before. What you'd be looking to do now is pop this as a fight begins to try and get the, you know, the the, the armor replenished over the duration of the fight instead of popping it straight away. That's cool anyway. So, I mean, you see, these statistics are really good. I think you know you've had a good game here, but I would have preferred it if you sent in a, let's say, a less, like a more common game that you've had. Because if you played like this every game, you don't have to say that to the team. That, that, I hate that attitude. Because all you're saying to your team there is you're so bad, guys. I'm better. You don't have to do that. You know that you're playing good in this game. So th that's all you need to know. That's so cool as well. Oh, they're going to have ground. Okay, so... We have nano blade again. Let's see what happens here. Why are we, why are we going over there? This is a really good rotation. <laughs> oh, dear. So we've just jumped into a grab and there's... Okay, good escape. He's, he's oh, this is this is a this is a rip. Uh oh. Uh, there's two on, under bridge. Two under bridge. Coming to point. Someone help me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That nano was for Reinhardt, not for you. <laughs> oh. Huge, huge plays. Do we get an ult to finish this bad boy off? Oh, let's just trace around. Uh, so lucky. This should be winnable. We should win this. Tracer low. Sorry, one. Come on, team. Okay, winnable. Right. Let's go back to this here, and let's explain why this is this is this is crazy. Why are we in gate? Why are we jumping over here? Like we've not seen grab for ages from the enemy team, and I kept going on about this. But jumping over here, even if like we forgot about grab or whatever, it does it. it, it this doesn't solve anything because the enemy team are there. They've got to push through this little itsy bitsy choke. You can still go in this way. You can jump down. I mean, hell, you can get down to here. You could punch over there or do whatever you want to do. Just jump off there, punch, try and get somebody. Or you can wait to see if anyone comes through here. And obviously with the power of hindsight, we know a McCree comes through here and pops his ultimate. Now, if you were still here, you kill that McCree straight away. And this is less stressful, right? Okay. Let's uh let's 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 jump forward because we've uh we know what happens here. So it looks like we hold. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what team comp we've got. Again, we've got a decent team comp. And okay. Oh, so wait, that actually kinda let's, counters let's me. Take a church. Oh you know what? let's jump back. What actually kinda counters you? Like if they had a sombra, I would not be able to do that. That's right, a sombra. <laughs> she would screw you over. And like sombra is, is a much better counter than McCree. That, so then I just feed my face off. Hog can be fairly decent, but again hog is like do Doomfist tends to escape from hog. That, why do they have a torb? Oh wait, that actually kinda Let's counters me. Take a turret. Okay. Yeah. yeah, check the room too. I'm with you. Oh turret's over here. So I'd imagine that you're gonna go whoa. Turret then. Okay, so the enemy team, let, let's just talk about Torb. The enemy team are throwing the game, picking Torb. He's in such a bad place right now. You don't want him on your team ever for defense um, at this level anyway. Like, you would be better off picking any other DPS hero. Like, I, he, he, 
Oh, he's sleep. gonna be he's gonna be annoying for Doomfist a little bit, but I mean, Wait, wah. where's Widow? Where's Widow? Tell me. Good call. Oh, where's Widow? Where's Widow? She's on the way in the back behind the shield. Uh, so she's on the ground. Yeah, she's on the ground right now. Half a dead. We're up one. Oh. Let's do something. Let's not just nice. hide. Okay. Push the Risa. Push the Risa. Good, 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 good. Oh, I need heals. I need heals really badly. <laughs> good. So this is fine. Like, there's, there's not really much to say with that. It was a good engage. You could maybe say if you're being harsh, like, why did you spend as much time as you did sort of just sitting there going, where is Widow? But, you know, you need that intel, so I'm cool with that. I've not seen that in Moat for ages. Okay, so what's our what's our what's our plan? What's our engage here? How are we going in? Uh, they're holding. <laughs> We're dying instantly. <laughs> so what I was going to say is, you, what are you going to do by going up there? Could you maybe flank to the left? Could you maybe flank to the left window? Pop up that way, or could you just wait? Could you even just like sort of walk in here and wait, or walk there and wait? You know, before entering the room, because if your team are going to push this way, maybe they push through and they drop down, and then you engage. Maybe while you're in here or waiting down here, you could then engage them on the high ground. You know, there's the, the, there's a couple of options here, but what you did is kind of yeah. like... Yeah, I, I mean, you got killed by Widow. It was a good shot by Widow. See, Widow was actually watching that window. So, what I... Oh, that was nice. What I was saying, you know, she still would have got a shot onto you, so... We've almost got our ultimate, which is good. It would be nice if we were checking Zarya to see her percentage, because that will win... Because We've got six six minutes and 26 seconds here. The win condition is a grav meteor strike would win this game. So if we know what percentage she's on, we can work with it. But we're not actually checking. See, this is something you're not doing. Um, much better players. And and I don't mean that like you're a bad player because you're not. You're a really, really good Doomfist player. Some of the best player, like, player I've seen on ladder. You, a better players would be checking the score screen more often. And they'd be more in tune with what's going on with ultimate usage. And they'd be planning a little bit better. Ooh. Okay. Oh no, Zen, 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 Zen. That was a great oh, save on Zen. I had you. That was a great save on Zen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it did sound like somebody was behind you there. Okay, uh, it's looking a bit ropey now. Oh, oh nice. I got, the, I, got, I got mercy. Huge. I got mercy. I think Widow just. And just I got Widow. GG, GG, easy there. <laughs> oh dear. right side. No no Torb is no killing two people. Oh my god. Is Torb gonna Torb's carry up, after Torb's I said Torb's he's Torb's trash? <laughs> hey! Nice okay, alright. Press tab again, come on. Press tab, press tab, press tab, press tab. Okay, right. So, it was true what I said. Picking Torbjorn is not going to be very good. Like, don't ever be like, oh my god, let's pick Torb on defense. It's never gonna work. Against good teams, it just won't work. Now, your statistics here are good. Um,. I mean, like, these are really, really good. <laughs> like, really, really good. Uh, you're, you're demonstrating amazing awareness with this hero uh, and, and, like, amazing tech with the hero. Amazing awareness may be a little bit... Uh, that's a little bit too rich because there were times where you went in and fed. That's what you've got to get out of your game. What I want you to do, I think this will make you better. This is quite easy, to be honest. I want you to um, maybe play a little bit safer at times. Um, don't, uh, like... In Overwatch, I think a lot of people suffer from wanting to make a play. You don't have to make a play, right? You can wait. Making plays, right, is fine. And it's something which I guess comes from ladder because you kind of want to like, oh my God, I've got to carry the team. I'm doing this. I could kill three people or something crazy like that. But sometimes it's not always the best plan. I think in the instances where you died, you got really greedy and you just, like it was a rush of blood to your head and you wanted to just engage the enemy. But you were dying at the start of a push into Hanamura final point, which gives the enemy a one-man advantage in that fight. And that is so huge, especially for snowballing, right? If you die like that, you are feeding. You may as well not even be with the team, right? Get that out of your game and you will just, you'll be better and you'll become more consistent. I just worry that the reason you're still in Master is because you're maybe having a lot of games where you are sort of YOLOing in and not really paying attention to what you're doing. So if you really sit down and always ask yourself the question, what should I be doing now? Or should I be this aggressive now? Can I afford to be aggressive? Because maybe I've got Meteor Strike. You will be a better player and you'll just get to GM. No doubt about it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylosa and this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video. Remember, you can send in submissions to appear on the show if you follow the instructions that are on the screen. I've been Stylosa, this is Unit Lost, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.